Hello everybody, happy Thursday. I'm gonna go on and show you what progress we made yesterday and we got a lot done. Um, I am back to filming same day and posting so I'm gonna get a video to you guys as often as I can. Might have a problem today. So I cannot find my charger, my battery charger for my camera or um, extra batteries. So just gotta bear with me. I'm gonna try my hardest to get one out today. And let me go on and show you guys some progress. Though, here is what we got done yesterday. So here is the dining room. We do have an actual dining room. That's a bag of garbage, but it's not full, so I'm leaving it as we throw more away. And then I'm gonna take those upstairs, but we have a dining room. And then you go into the kitchen, and the kitchen is here, empty. And then Charles did a lot of putting this together. And here we have Theo's toys there. We have all of this put together. We do not have the TV up yet. It's gonna go where it is, but above. Um, he needs to get stud finders. And he's got those in the barn. And we have the frogs. You guys have not seen Jerry. And I don't know if I've ever introduced you guys to Marco Polo. She got those for her birthday. There's our little Marco and Polo. We thought Jerry would like a friend, but he tried to eat them. So <laughs> they're in their own container. Jerry will hop up whenever he knows that I'm here. Or anybody is here. Usually. Jerry. There he is. <laughs> That's the frogs. And then we got Jake, which he's in his room doing school. We got his room all set up. We did put the kids' um, little uh, keyboard here. And we got his room up on bed rails. Unfortunately, I busted my pot back there, so we've gotta get a new pot for that. <sighs> but that's some progress has been made. At least we're trying to get some of the clutter gone, and then we will start bringing in box by box from the other areas of the house. Um, I did not show you guys my pantry. So here is the pantry and why you say this house definitely has some things going on, but as we, um, you know, get it ready and build it the way we want, change things the way we want, it's going to be perfect. But here is my pantry. So this is the extent of my pantry. <laughs> this is it. That's all I get. So a lot of food is in the basement. There was shelving in the basement, so we're putting a lot of the food down there in the basement. Kate has been fabulous helping me do all that. She ran up to get ready for school. I have Theo today while she's in class. And then the garage, this though, I need to get the light on, but you can see, full of boxes, full of boxes. But the shelves over there I'm using and we're gonna clear them out um, of everything except for my kitchen equipment and I will put that in there so that way I have you know my air fryers and that type of stuff here that I can just grab and take in but yes we have all these boxes we have to go through all of this little by little but we also have flooring we brought a bunch of flooring with us and that's a huge hunk down here and that we're gonna put into the living room and dining room and Jake's area on this first floor and then we have a freezer out here and a fridge out here um, we don't really we're not gonna use it as a garage garage because we can park down in the barn or by the barn although right now the barn is full of all his tools and stuff like that so he's got to organize that that's just like an insane he has so many tools <laughs> but he uses them all so I mean he needs them a um, couple things also that are harder to do is we have no microwave here so I did order one and we have one it'll be here um, next Thursday so we still have another week of no microwaves so like last night I got out ground turkey an hour before dinner and I was like I'll just make tacos everybody wants some tacos and it's the easy food and I forgot that I don't have a way to defrost anything <laughs> so we're having tacos tonight and we ended up luckily I had some stuff um, in my freezer that I could just pop in the air fryer frozen and it cook and that's what we did last night and the night before it was spaghetti because I was able to find spaghetti noodles and sauce so it's crazy 
couple other things that are very odd is there are no smoke detectors in this whole house. That is so weird. I didn't even think that that was like legal and allowed, but Charles, he has got smoke detectors coming, seven of them, but he wants one in every room, but we were at a limit of six that we were allowed to buy, and then he bought one of a different kind for the kitchen. And he's gonna have them though in every room, because when we left our other house, when we were packing, and we went into Brooke, we went into Brooke and Ash's old room. And what was out there, or what we saw when we pulled out the lamp, was the whole outlet was black. The cord was black. We threw out the lamp. Had no idea that was going on. Charles was totally freaked out. He's like, that could have been a fire. So luckily here, we do have big windows in every single room. Everybody can get out. He bought little fire extinguishers and it's in everybody's room so that they could get their way out the door if need to be. But they can also, even the second floor, everybody's room is where you can climb out onto a roof of some kind and jump down seven feet instead of, you know, being sky high. The other thing that we're gonna do um, along those things of fire safety is he wants to do our um, plans, our emergency evacuation plans and just our emergency plans and go through it all with the kids before it comes, especially Luke. But the fire plan more with the other kids too. But we need to practice going to the basement for tornado drill. We need to practice, you know, exiting the house for a fire. Where are we gonna meet? I would say we'll meet back at the barn, which is where are we gonna meet? Um, and go through all of that. So he wants to do that, I think, next weekend. Um, Thursday, sorry, trying to think of everything. Thursday, they're coming to do our electric here because uh, the electric doesn't support. Oh, Cardinal, the electric doesn't support the house here currently. So um, we have to have that updated because that is also a fire hazard. So they are coming Thursday. We will have no power at all on Thursday, no electricity. It's gonna be a very interesting day. That's a week from today. And about the Cardinals, so many of you uh, said that that was my grandmother. I did not realize that. You actually made me cry yesterday <laughs> um, when I read that. So my grandmother was so excited to come out here. She could not wait to come out here. Um, so that has definitely been emotional. She would absolutely love it. And we're about to do Ash's 16th birthday. And um, that's Sunday, where her birthday is actually Monday, but we're gonna do a, a party for her on Sunday with no school, no work, no anything. And, um, you know, she's gonna miss that, and she would absolutely love that. So, definitely is, is emotional. Everything's emotional right now. <laughs> I think moving is just emotional too. But of course, Grandma, you know, it's been almost two months now, and um, it just takes time. It just takes time. So, uh, I'm gonna jump off here though. I think I've, I've done everything and I'm saying I'm a lot. <laughs> I think I covered everything that I wanna cover this morning. I'm gonna go in and figure it out. I need to make some kind of breakfast for everybody. And yeah, that's, that's kind of where we are right now. So let's just start this day. I have not shown you guys yet. These are my beautiful wildflowers that Theo picked for me. They're so precious in our backyard. And then of course we've got our fruit and I had some candy in the freezer so I set that out for the girls. Oh, and this is what else. I also, I had these mugs made as a surprise. They say Blue Jay Acres. I absolutely love them. I keep them up here. I got 10 of them. Um, and that's what we're using like to drink out of all the time. And we absolutely love them. I got them as a surprise for Charles and he absolutely loves them loves them his tooth is great all that went great yesterday um also if you noticed in the kitchen we have a blue jay acre sign i'm not sure where we're gonna put that yet but the kids had that made for him for father's day and when we had put an offer on the house and we knew that that was coming so not sure where we're gonna put that yet but we'll find a spot i'm sure all right, so for breakfast, they all just wanted frozen waffles today. So that makes it super easy. And I had some in the freezer, right? Yeah. 
Her favorite are blueberry though, so we need to make some homemade one. Except for Theo, he had a yogurt. Did you have yogurt this morning and a banana? Don't have, don't have blue yogurt. Blue yogurt. What else did you eat? And a banana. And a banana. Yes, you did, baby. I want to show you. You want to show me? Look at this room. Oh, you want to show them this room? This is a cool room. You like it in here. That is your letters over there. Huh? They love that you're showing them where everything is. Yes, that's Simon. Simon, the game. Oh, that goes in with your cars. You got your cars are in your car bucket, remember? We did that yesterday. Well, we'll fix it in a minute. Let's take Luca's apple. And Luke had waffles and an apple. Hey, Mom. What, baby? What do you want? A plate. Oh, a plate to put it on? Okay. Are you just going to not eat it all right this second? Yeah. All right. So that is fine by me because that just means that I've got early or easy breakfast time. So that works for me. I'm trying to get the lighthouse. We have a lighthouse that we turn on at night. And I haven't learned all these buttons yet, so I'm trying to figure that out. There's light switches everywhere. Another weird thing, though, is there's no outlets in the bathroom. Have you ever heard of such a thing? That's so weird. It's an old house, so I'm sure there's a rhyme or reason to why there isn't. But that's just so weird to me. So, um, everybody just has to do their stuff, you know, in the rooms or whatever. That's just so weird. I have to tell you, we all absolutely love it here. Just love it here. Even with this little quirks, I think the quirks are kind of cool. Even things you got to work around. But that's just part of the history of the house, which I think is really cool. Just like the baseboard heat and, and things that I love older homes. Guys, look at this car. You back? Um, I love that car. I love it. All right, so this one is 50 years old. The other houses that I liked were like 100, 200 years old. Charles was like, absolutely not. This is as old as he would let me go in a house. And I just love it. I love everything about it. I love my Ah, uh, they love those cars. <laughs> I think he missed the friends. All right, I'm gonna jump off of here and them doing an easy breakfast allows me to grab some more boxes from the garage. So I'm gonna do that and go through a couple boxes and then we'll get back with you and check with you guys here in just a little bit. He's gotta show you more. How did you have so many toys in here? That's your ladybug maraca. Huh? Yes, and that. All right, tell the friends bye. We'll see you later. So one of the things that we also love is that recycling is affordable here, where it wasn't um, as affordable where we were. Don't get frustrated, bring it to me. So we have recycling bin now, and Theo was just throwing some stuff in the recycle bin, right? Don't throw your truck in it. 
That's the recycling, right? Nope, that's not the recycle bin. That's the garbage. The black top is the garbage. And the blue top is the recycling bin. Very good. All right, so lunch today. We are just doing these sandwiches from Walmart. They are a great deal. You get them, um, like it's $5.98 got all kind of stuff in it so we actually have three of those and we're doing that for lunch and then we are having blueberries and strawberries and some um, grapes but as you can see down here somebody got into the all-american already and we got another one of these so a super fast easy lunch as well and it'll be a super fast easy dinner because we're still trying to unpack and do all of that. So, I'll see you guys in just a bit. We are about to take a walk down to the barn because we need to um, find a stud finder to get these up. These um, this TVs, sorry, my brain is not working. And I wanna show Charles, we got this big saucer swing that he should be like, able to like lay on and you push, it holds up to like 700 pounds. And I want to show them the tree that I want to put it on back in the back. So I'm taking you guys with us. Sorry, I did not film a lot today. Um, we have just been unpacking, and it's really just boring to watch. But we're going to walk down there and do that, and then we're going to have some um, come back and make the tacos. It's a little after five right now. So I'll take you guys with us. But first, I also wanted to say thank you so much, Kathy. I picked up your letter today. Put it on. Thanks, Kathy. Charles, pick up your letter today at the P.O. Box. Mom, we see this new game that I brought a few, brought a few days ago. Yes, you're playing a new game. <laughs> also. Oh, we're going, baby. So, thank you so much, Kathy. And so many of you have asked, we are still have our P.O. Box the same as it was. Um, that is not changing. We just are not getting there as often because it's about an hour drive for us. And somebody else asked. All right. You're hyper today. You're excited. Let's go take a walk to the barn while mommy talks. Okay. Anyways. Go get your game. It's your game. You can take it with us to the barn. Oh, we need barn keys. Mom, we forgot. Okay. See you in a minute on our way. Uh, we also, Luke was out playing in this, in the pool some, and Theo, Theo is fussing, but he's going, it's because he just was trying to take a nap, and boy, the sun is bright. Something else, somebody asked, oh, Luke just went in that way, I thought he was going to find you. Something somebody else asked, oh my gosh, honey, and I need car keys, this is so bright. Somebody asked, um, how, how it feels to be so rural. And we are 10 minute drive. So as much as this country and it's fabulous, we are 10 minutes away from one of my favorite stores, Jungle Gems, and pretty much anything and everything you could think of. So we're very close to drive, uh, or to drive and get anything that we need. Oh my goodness, that sun is bright. Oh, here we go. Everybody's a good one. All right, so we're gonna head on down to the barn. This is just is down here a little ways. Acre? What? Is that an acre? Is this an acre? Our backyard is about an acre. Where? It's almost an acre and a half in the back. Daddy said so we're about an acre and a half in the back. And Daddy has the barn keys. So the barn, though, is a great big mess. Right, honey? <laughs> well, it's definitely not organized by any means. But we had to just put all his tools and stuff in there. Um, we had to just put all his tools and stuff in there. And my my battery is about to die. But um, he will get all that organized. And we had to put all the wood and all the stuff that we brought from the other house in there. So I'm going to try and show you this tree before though my battery dies. So you guys can see where I want to hang his swing. And now Theo is all happy. We're going to go find this branch first. And if you notice in Charles's back pocket is a sippy cup. True daddy fashion right there. Oh, it's not nearly as bright and it's actually cooler back here. So 
So this is what we call the back seven. When you hear us talk about the back seven, Charles named it that, and I, it's just kind of stuck, and we all call it the back seven. This is our back seven acres, and it's way overgrown right now, and we don't go in it, because we don't know what's in there, <laughs> but we will get the tractor out. We need to mow everything. We gotta get a riding mower. We gotta get the tractor out and get this taken care of. But unboxing first. We've only been here a couple days. So unboxing first. Let's go show dad where this branch is down here. So it's way down here. There it is, if you guys can see it. It's a good big branch that I think will be perfect. Mm -hmm. Now this one down here, look, look at this perfect big branch. So here it is. Oh, this is the branch. I think that'll be a great big sturdy branch to fit a swing on and then plenty of open area here to swing on. What do you think? Alright, so now we're headed into the barn. Um, this, the kids have been climbing these trees like crazy. And you guys have seen them on this playing a video game. I guess when I said it, we took electronics, we took internet away and most access to computers and things like that. And um, so no YouTube or, and um, internet when I was talking about Luke and how he took things away. But this is like a, a video game, not through the internet, just like downloaded onto the little, one of my old Kindles. So that's, what he's kind of been doing while we're trying to unpack and get things done. But here is the barn. All right, as you can see, <laughs> stuff everywhere. We got stuff everywhere. They're trying to find a toad because our house has a ton of toads, which is pretty awesome. I don't know where. And it definitely smells of a barn, but all of his tools, this is all wood that we had that he's going to use to build my raised beds. We brought all that with us. Yeah, I don't care. You got to bring it back when you're done. So, and this is just some different outside tools or things. And this is one we're just going to throw it out because we didn't realize what bad shape it was in. And he's over at more toolboxes. <laughs> So as you can see, we got a ton of work to do. So I will see you guys back up at the house. Okay, you put one foot on it. Stand on it. No. Put your foot so it looks like that. Okay, now just kick off. And we did manage to bring our Peppuccini Pepper home plant home and a basil. And I saved our trees. Our pine trees. So these are just little saplings that fell off the tree at the old house. And okay, so sorry about that. My battery died, but luckily we were able to find the battery. So Charles did correct me. I didn't realize I said pine. They are maple trees. And so he's got three of them. And they're growing so good. So we will keep them in these pots till they get too big and then plant them in the back seven. Okay, we are going out to dinner a lot of nights. Um, Luke has been, well, a lot of nights. We haven't been here that many nights. But Luke has been sitting in the swing. Well, what you can say is we've eaten outside every night since we moved here. <laughs> yeah, this is like uh, night five. And he sits out on the swing, but it is so hot. And he honestly is just wanting some quiet. Theo has been very grumpy. He's just exhausted. He is loving living here, but boy, is he tired. So he is up laying down. So we are all making our plate coming out oh well, there we are so guys do you like it better eating outside than inside outside I, I think we'll eat out here all the time poor little katie her nerves are shot he really has cried a lot today and um jake and charles are on their way out they're just finishing up their plates so i'm gonna go on and wrap this up for tonight so i can get it together for you guys and get it up as soon as we're done eating 
and we'll see all of you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with us, and we look forward to seeing you again. Bye, everybody. Have a great night.